The Braun T3 Pocket Transistor Radio was beautifully designed in 1958 by Dieter Rams, the chief designer for Braun. The T3 is thought to be the inspiration behind Apple's iPod because of their likeness, but this minimalist radio was wildly popular and they sold like hotcakes throughout the 1960s. Remington introduced the world's first cordless rechargeable shaver in 1960. The pioneering company launched the electronic to much fanfare, and men were eager to get their hands on the convenient, ultra-portable invention. The first cordless shaver enjoyed record sales during the decade, and it led to other companies developing their own version. Sony introduced the first truly modern color TV with the Trinitron in 1968. The original 12-inch model outclassed the competition with better picture quality and ease of use, so it was an instant success. Sony would go on to sell 100 million of these Trinitron TVs. The Kodak Instamatic sold a staggering 60 million units during the 60s and 70s. The Instamatic 104, which first hit stores in 1963, was instantly snapped up by consumers. This revolutionary camera used an easy-loading film cartridge instead of spool film, which made it more affordable and easier to use. This camera retailed for $20 in the 1960s. The number one doll of the decade was Mattel's Barbie. These dolls sold by the truckload in the 1960s. Barbie's looks and outfits reflected the fashions of the time, which had them sporting everything from chic Jackie O style suits to hip mod inspired outfits. If you're lucky enough to have one of the original dolls from 1959, you'll be happy to know that one sold at auction for $26,000 in 2017. The Hoover Dialomatic was the quintessential vacuum cleaner of the 60s. Launched in 1963, this model was the world's first clean air upright vacuum cleaner. Rather than dirt passing directly through the suction fan and being blown into the bag, it was passed through the bag first, leaving only clean air to pass through the fan. Later in the decade, Hoover would also add a self-propulsion system, which made vacuuming the house less of a chore. Famed for its distinctive circular ringer, the Western Electric 500 was the standard issued phone by Bell System and a standard feature in most American households during the 1960s. Touch tone service would be added in 1963 with the Model 1500 telephone, which had a push button pad for the 10 digits and the Model 2500 telephone, introduced in 1968, added the star and pound keys. Coppertone's suntan creams launched with the slogan, Don't be a pale face, and they were formulated for tanning rather than protecting skin against the sun. In the 1960s, it was fashionable to have bronze skin and the iconic copper tone girl with the dog pulling down her suit to reveal suntan lines was what made the brand famous in the 1950s. The copper tone slogan shifted to the phrase tan, don't burn, before eventually realizing the harmful effects suntanning could have on your skin. The second most popular doll of the 1960s was Chatty Cathy. This doll had a pull string that played various phrases each time it was pulled. Launched in 1959, the doll was a sensation in the United States, and Mattel advertised the toy in television commercials beginning in 1960, with a suggested retail price of $18, although many retailers sold it for $10. Clairol hair dye was one of the most influential cosmetic products of the decade, if not the century. 
it revolutionized attitudes about hair dyeing, which was seen as cheap. But Clairol made it natural looking and believable. Driven by a very successful ad campaign, customers bought Clairol hair dyes in droves. Using the catchphrase, does she or doesn't she? Only her hairdresser knows for sure. 70% of women were coloring their hair during this time. KitchenAid's classic stand-up mixer might be the more memorable model, but Sunbeam's Mixmaster was actually the best-selling mixer of the decade. With kitchen countertop electronics becoming the norm during the 1960s, the Mixmaster helped cooks across the country mix ingredients better and with less work. In 1998, the U.S. Postal Service even created a stamp to honor the Sunbeam Mixmaster as one of the greatest inventions ever made. Dubbed the power tool with a thousand uses, Black & Decker's U100 drill outsold other drills in the 1960s. As the home improvement craze took off, so did this handheld tool, which made hanging shelves, fixing the back door, and putting together flat-packed furniture much quicker. If you enjoyed this video, check out the description for links that help support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.